Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're, if you're trying to install any app on your iPhone device and you're having this type of problem, unable to install this app cannot be installed because its integrity could not be verified. So if you're having this type of problem while installing app on your iPhone device, then here in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this problem if you're having this type of problem while installing app on your iPhone device. So now let's get started without wasting any time. First of all, here you need to open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. Then here, first thing you'll have to make sure that you're using strong internet connection. If you're using Wi-Fi, then here you'll have to disconnect with Wi-Fi and reconnect it again. And if you're using mobile phone data, then here you'll have to turn off your mobile data and turn it on again. Then after that, again, open setting on your iPhone or iPad device and scroll it down all the way, then tap on apps. So after that here you'll have to scroll down here and here you'll need to search for Safari. So here is Safari, you'll need to tap on this. Then after that here you'll have to scroll down all the way, then tap on advanced. Then here you'll have to tap on website data. So after that here you'll have to tap on edit, then here you'll have to select all the data and here you, then here you'll have to delete all the available data from here. Then after go back, then here you'll have to scroll it down, then tap on clear history and website data. Then here you'll have to select all history, then tap on clear history. Then after go back again, open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. Then here you'll have to search for App Store. So here you will need to search for App Store. Here is App Store, you'll tap on this. And here you'll have to scroll down and here's the option of app download. You'll need to tap on this and here make sure that and here make sure that always allow is selected from here, then go back. And here you'll have to close this tab. Then after that, again, open setting, then scroll down, then tap on general. Then tap on soft update and make sure that you're using an updated version of iOS. If you don't have an updated version of iOS, then you'll have to update your iPhone device to the latest available version. So after that, here you'll have to tap on iPhone storage. And here you'll have to delete all necessary data from here. Then after go back and here you'll have to close this tab. Then here you need to force restart your iPhone device by tapping on the volume up button then volume down and press the power button until Apple logo appears. Then again open setting then scroll down then tap on here screen time. So here is screen time you will need to tap on this. Then scroll down here then tap on content and privacy restrictions. So after that here you will have to turn on this toggle then tap on iTunes app store purchase. Then here make sure that all three options are allowed from here and here is option is always require and don't require. Here you will have to select don't require, then go back and here you will have to again open setting, then tap on general, then again scroll down, then here you will have to search for transfer or reset iPhone, then tap on reset, then tap on reset network settings, here you will need to enter your iPhone passcode, then after that hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to install any app on your iPhone or iPad device without any problem. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get me all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.